Hello, and welcome to our lesson on solving simultaneous equations with different coefficients. So we're going to solve 5x plus 2y is equal to 24 simultaneously with 2x minus y is equal to 6. We'll call the top one equation A and the bottom one equation B. Now to solve them simultaneously, we need the number before the variables to be the same. These are called the coefficients. So it's easiest to multiply equation B by 2, because then we will have a 2y. So we have 2x times 2, which is 4x, and negative y times 2, which is negative 2y, and 6 times 2, which is 12. And this is still equation B, because this is equivalent with the original. So now we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 24. This is equation A. And we have the new equation B, which is 4x minus 2y, which is equal to 12. We can eliminate the y term by adding the two equations together. We have 2y plus negative 2y. This becomes 2y take away 2y, which will make 0. And that makes the y eliminated. So we're going to add the two equations together. So 5x and 4x is 9x. The y's will cancel to make 0y. 24 and 12 will make 36. So now we have 9x will equal 36. So dividing both sides by 9, we have x is equal to 4. And now we can substitute x equals 4 into either equation A or B, I'm going to choose equation A. So we have 5 lots of 4, 5x plus 2y is equal to 24. 5 lots of 4 is 20, plus 2y is equal to 24. Take away the 20 from both sides, so 2y will equal 4. Divide both sides by 2, y will equal 2. We can check that this works by substituting in y equals 2 and x equals 4 into an equation. Let's do this equation. 2 lots of x, which is 4, minus the y, which is 2, should equal 6. 8 take away 2 does make 6. So we know x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2. OK, let's try question B. So to begin with, I'm going to label the top equation, equation A, and the equation on the bottom, equation B. It is easiest to multiply the bottom equation by 2, because then I will have a 2, negative 2y. So Equation B is 3x times 2, which is 6x, negative y times 2, which is negative 2y, and 6 times 2, which is equal to 12. So we have equation B, 6x minus 2y is equal to 12, and equation A, 5x minus 2y is equal to 4. So to eliminate the y term, we have a negative 2y and another negative 2y. By finding the difference or a subtraction of the two, the two negatives will become a positive. So we have 0y. So we need to find the difference of the two equations. 6x take away 5x is 1x. Two, negative 2y take away negative 2y is 0y. And 12 take away 4 is equal to 8. So x is equal to 8. We're now going to substitute x equals 8 into either equation. I'm going to choose equation A. So we have 5 lots of 8 minus 2 lots of y is equal to 4. 40 minus 2y is equal to 4. 
We'll move the negative 2y to the other side by adding 2y. So these will cancel. So 40 will equal 4 plus 2y. 36 will equal 2y. So y will equal 18. To check that this works, we can substitute the y and the x into the equation. So we have 5 lots of x, 5 lots of 8, minus 2 lots of y, which is 18. 40 minus 36 does make 4, which it should. So x is equal to 8, and y is equal to 18. Okay, let's try one more question. So we're going to use simultaneous equation to solve this problem. But you want to try and do it yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, to use simultaneous equations, I'm going to call this length x and this length the same. And I'm going to call the length of a pink rectangle as y. So we have another x, another and another and two more y's. By solving the value of x and y, I can work out the entire length of the third diagram. From diagram 1, we have 2x plus y equals 7.5. And the second diagram tells us we have 3x plus 2y, which equals 12. I'm going to label the top equation A, the bottom equation B. And to solve these equations simultaneously, I'm going to make the coefficient of y here 2. So I need to multiply equation A by 2. So now I have 2x times 2, which is 4x, y times 2, which is 2y, and 7.5 times 2, which is 15. And equation B is 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. I want to eliminate the y's, so I'm going to do a subtraction. So 4x take away 3x is x, 2y take away itself will make 0y, and 15 take away 12 is 3. So x is equal to 3. I can now substitute x is equal to 3 into either equation. I'm going to choose equation A. 2x plus y is equal to 7.5. We know x is 3, so 2 lots of 3 plus y is equal to 7.5. 6 plus y is 7.5, so y must equal 1.5. So the third diagram is made up of 5x plus y. We know x is 3, so 15 plus y, and y is 1.5, so the length of the third diagram is 16.5 centimetres. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.